So I'm gonna to try to use this <coughs> Think Diag scan tool that works with my smartphone to scan my new 22 F-150 Lightning. See if I can, uh, that's interesting. The camera is picking up some kind of a infrared signal from that sensor up there. Yet I can't see it in the naked eye, but I can see it on the camera. That's cool. Anyways, I'm going to fire up the uh, app on the smartphone and I'm going to try a screen recorder to record it and see what kind of modules we can get into. Okay, I'm going to see if we can connect to the truck. Hey, let's try. Oh, there we go. Will it decode the VIN? Yeah, that's my VIN. F-150-22 Super Crew. People are sending me texts and messages. The key is on, or the ignition is on. Let's go to health report and see what... Air conditioning control module, audio control module, accessory protocol interface, battery energy control module, gear shift module. Wow. Power steering control module. C control module G, C control module H, side object detection control module right, wow, so I got some DTCs in the camera module rear and the gear shift module and the power steering control module, 30 controllers. Three of abnormal. So let's look at the report. Uploading report. Where is it uploading it to? Generating report. Creates a PDF. Invalid data received. Gear shift lock solenoid actuator circuit A range performance. Invalid data received from ABS anti lock brake system control module A and driver side LED. Whatever that means. Let's look at the individual ones. Let's see. Gear shift lock solenoid actuator circuit A range performance. It's a memory code. Invalid data received from ABS module. That's a memory code. And in the camera, driver side LED. Hmm. I don't know what that means. Well, We will save a copy of this report. And we'll clear all the DTCs. <laughs> Let's go back. System selection. Anti-lock brakes, air conditioning control, audio control, Accessory protocol, all terrain control module, whatever that is, body control, battery energy control, DC to DC converter control. Cool. Let's look at the battery energy control module. Let's look at data stream. Uh, 
I'm actually quite amazed that this scan tool is getting into these many modules in this vehicle. Accelerator pedal position, active diagnostic session, available battery charger input, average temperature, battery age and months. That's cool. Battery charger output, battery maintenance, rebalance mode status, battery maintenance, rebalance mode status, battery pack, boot software, calibration identification, charging inhibit requested. Wow. So let's select all. See it? Okay. Accelerator pedal, 15%. Now it's 65, now it's 80%. Cool. Available battery charger power. Average temperature, 68. I'm just scrolling through the data parameters. Contactor voltage positive, 369 volts. I guess it's a 360 volt battery pack. Distance since diagnostic trouble codes cleared, 116.8 miles. Engine coolant temperature. That's interesting. What engine? Engine RPM. Gear commanded park. Let's see what happens when we put it in reverse. Yeah, reverse. Neutral drive. Back to park. HEV drive motor inverter voltage. High voltage battery charger output. Wow. Hybrid battery pack voltage is 368.9 volts. Hmm. Energy to empty, 75,894 watts. Well, it's about three quarters of a charge right now. It says I have about 297 kilometers range, so that's about right. I put 181 kilometers on the vehicle since I got it yesterday. Info type, whatever these mean, I have no clue. Internal mo module fail codes. Leakage resistance. Leakage resistance, bus negative, bus positive. Cool. Lots of data. Lots of data. are not populating. Wow. Light key on engine running power pack available. Hmm. Total time ECU has been active. 1,175 point... Oh, wait a minute. That's 1,175 hours? 58 minutes and 4 seconds? Hmm. Well, the truck was built in the middle of June. But 
Well, no, not really. About three months. Well, let's go back. 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 What else can we look at? Gateway module, gear shift, headlamp control module, image processing module, tailgate module, radio transceiver, steering angle, steering column. Wow. Well, that's quite interesting. I'll put a link in the description to the uh, scanner I'm using. It's called a Think Diag, and it works with uh, Android or uh, iPhones. Well, that's cool. I'm going to make a few more videos in the next few weeks. I'm going to put the vehicle up on the hoist and have a look underneath and look at some, you know, how these how the AC is configured I'm not even sure where the condenser is I know it's 100% electric because there's no internal combustion engine to drive it see what happens if I go into powertrain control module like this thing's probably this application is probably assuming that this is an F-150 there is no DTC's oh okay I mean, it may still have a so-called powertrain control module, it's just not controlling an engine. But there's no uh, data list either, so I can't tell. At least I didn't see data list. Trailer module, telematics control module, transfer case control module. There's another one that it won't really have, is a transfer case control module. Yes, it doesn't have that. Mm, please feedback the VIN number. Okay. Side object detection control module. Those are the tail lights, I believe. Wow. I wonder if we can do any bi directional controls of something like the tailgate. No, we can't. Not yet. Power steering control module. Headlamp control module. Well, that's it for now. I'm going to exit out. Maybe I'll do a system scan and see what comes up. Oh, that just pulls the modules to see what modules are equipped. be interested to see what it says about the uh, powertrain control module. DC to DC converter control module. That's one we didn't look in. Cruise control module. Hmm. See, transfer case module is not equipped. So these are all the modules that are equipped, and it does say equipped with a powertrain control module, wireless accessory charging module, vehicle dynamics module, trailer module, telematic control module. Oh, I see it. it ignored the ones that are not equipped now. Hmm. Well, that's it for now. If you have any questions, I'll try and answer them. I'm still learning the features of this truck. It's absolutely amazing so far. I found this screen in the vehicle information tab. VIN number, year, so capacity says 110 to 180 kilowatts, battery electric vehicle, fuel type electric, transmission automatic. Isn't that cool? Well, this is going to be an interesting experience, waiting for my Pro Charger still. <laughs>